chicken marinade featuring chicken curry, barbecue chicken, tomato and basil chicken, marinated basic chicken, chicken satay, chicken salsa and chicken adobo. As you can see here we have four large chicken breasts and all our different marinades. Firstly, you need to seal the bottom of your sealing bag that you're going to be using so that you don't have any spillages coming out. As you can see, it's doing its thing and doing the bottom of it perfectly ready for using. So I'm demonstrating with the barbecue chicken. In goes some chicken breasts. I'm choosing some decent sized ones together so that they're of a similar size for cooking. And in goes a couple of squirts. I've used a bullseye barbecue sauce. And then what you want to do is you want to fold it over and then give it a good squidge with your hands so that it's nicely spread about and it's got nicely mixed in. You don't really need to shake it, just a little rub like you can see it, me doing. And then Dominic's going to place it back on the machine. As you can see, that's a real wobble of how powerful these vacuum packing machines actually are. And now you can see it's sucked out everything and you've got a bit of sauce in there. It's not too overly saucy and it's perfect. And then the next thing is to label it up so it's ready for the freezer. The important thing to remember is that you're freezing these so that you can defrost and use them later. The chicken marinades actually went better than I actually thought they would. Um, it can be difficult when you're doing something for the first time and when you read the horror stories of people saying that they've put marinades in bags and then they've exploded or they've leaked out as the vacuum sealing them. Uh, note that we did it successfully on the very first time. We chose uh, using shop-bought marinades as the first attempt because we thought we don't want to go to such an effort of making them ourselves um, for it to go wrong and turn out disgusting. Um, so for the first time we actually used proper uh, shop-bought marinades and we'll go back to this and then make, make our own version of them of course. They went into the bag perfectly. The only problem we ever had was that when I was pouring them in, some of the marinades got on the outside um, wrapping of the packaging. Uh, this meant that if you were going to hook them on and then seal them, they would be too greasy to do so. If this happens to you, give them a good wipe and they'll be fine. And then uh, they've gone in the freezer. Uh, I looked at them in the freezer, they're frozen. I thought they might stick together, you know, all those bags together into one big sticky freezer mess, but no, they're lovely and we can't wait to get them out and cook the rest of them. For more recipes, reviews, ebooks and tutorials, please visit our food blog at recipethis.com. You can also find us on Pinterest at pinterest.com forward slash recipe this. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be in the loop whenever we bring out new and exciting videos. And also, any links or products that we've used in any of these videos are mentioned. You'll be able to find all live links in the description of our videos.